Look where we are. Are you excited? Yeah. What are we doing? We're coming into Best Buy for the fourth time, just looking. <laughs> well, we have been a little bit indecisive, but it's been a few days and we have decided that we are getting our beloved new camera. And today is a very, very good day and we're super excited. So fingers crossed they have it in stock and everything will go well and we can walk out with a camera. Well, you guys, we did it. We've got it in the bag. I wonder if the battery is charged. Like, can we pop that so. battery in and just start using it? I don't know. Or do we have to go charge it? Anyways, we're it. excited. Check it out. We just did a little unboxing video, completely unprofessional, probably completely unhelpful, but very exciting for us, and that's all that matters. <laughs> But check it out. Um, I don't think you'll be able to see in the actual video itself where we're filming this, but we're currently on vacation at my aunt's house in my cousin's room. She has got this nice green and hot pink walls all over the place. It's fantastic. We are on a pink blanket that I think has a pig head on the side or something or a cat head. And um, So profesh, guys. So That's professional. Really professional. So take a look. This is it, you guys. I just put the battery in, and oh, I was looking for the cart. The, oh, right here, duh. We gotta cut we it out. We didn't even talk about this. We didn't even talk about this. Yeah, I showed it. You did? Yeah. Oh. I'm so excited. This has been like an idea of ours, and now we're finally doing it. We made a little bit of an investment, kind of big. <laughs> kind of big? Kind of big, but this is gonna be the new, the new view. Okay, this card is going in the camera, and I think this is the last clip you're gonna see on this camera. Guys, we already put the heart of the battery in, and now we're putting in the brain, I feel like. Put in that brain. It's alive! All right, I guess I'm gonna say goodbye on this camera. Hopefully we won't ever need to use this one. It will be backup. It will be for things like if we're splashing around in the pool, but I'm hoping that this, we will just be able to officially say goodbye to you, Canon PowerShot. Thank you so much for the past two and a half years of vlogging, but we're moving on to your big brother. All right, you're already on. Look how, how clear. Do look? Does it make me look more beautiful? Let me just say the screen is so clear and there's like no grainy bits. So you're filming right now? I'm filming right now. <laughs> I filmed that last little bit, so we made the little conversion. <laughs> I feel like you're not filming me. Like, looking at that camera is really weird. Like, I feel like you should just take my picture. Nope. I'm definitely filming you. Let me get, like, the first vlogger Yeah, that looks good. Shot. It looks really good. It's I'm not so too excited. close. I'm so excited. I can't even tell you. I have so many ideas. I was telling Kaylee, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get into filmmaking and, like, oh, I don't know. There's so many cool accessories that I wanted to get for this, but I'm like, okay, Christmas, birthday. Yeah, we gotta hold on. We gotta, like... I want to go vlog with it. Let's go film Scabby Poo. Yeah, let's see her. All right, guys, we are walking to the park to test out our new camp. The sun's behind me. I don't even know what this is gonna look like. I know. This seriously. This, this is day like a test. Like for experimenting. This is like a tester. Tester, see what we can do. So we're walking to the park, and we're just gonna try to get some cool shots and play with the manual focus and yeah yeah the leaves are in focus That's cool. so cool so this camera has a touch screen i don't know if we talked about that but you can basically touch on the screen where you want it to focus which is like a super easy feature. I don't really know how to like focus the lens by turning it. We're gonna have to figure that out, but I love just being able to touch the screen. So like right over here, I just would touch it on the kids playing soccer and then I would touch it on the leaves and it's so easy. So we told you guys yesterday that we were gonna give you a little bit of like a life update and Josh was like, why not just do it right now when we're at the park walking around, yeah. so. My job has ended with Make-A-Wish as you know and Kaylee and I have decided that uh, the place for us to be is to be up north, Northern California, Sacramento, Roseville area 
so that is our plan um, within the next month we will be packing up our stuff in San Diego and we will be moving in really uh, really it's like within the next three weeks so we will be heading up north I will be searching for jobs I am kind of searching for jobs right now and we will see what happens yeah so we're excited there's a lot of backstory that maybe we can fill you guys a little bit in on but um, yeah it basically just boils down to the fact that this is where we want to be and we're excited so we're ready for a new chapter and, and you know this camera's heavy really let me okay i can try this but i don't know if you're guaranteed to be in it um so the other cool thing though is that when we went to vlogger fair we met a cool group we may kind of made establish this cool group of vloggers and we, we really every single person is from Northern California. And so we we're kind of like, oh, this is so cool. We'll be kind of close to each other and maybe do even like little meetups every once in a while. Yeah. So I know it is cool. It is cool to feel like we kind of have like a Northern California group of vloggers. I wonder how this thing deals with wind. I know, I just thought about that. Is it recording? Yep. So we decided to sit on a bench because that camera is a little teeny bit heavy when you're filming yourself. Um, but I just wanted to explain just a little bit like I don't know if some of you guys are gonna think like We're absolutely crazy and ever since we moved back from Hawaii We've just been jumping all over the place Because we kind of have and that's why um, a few videos back the one titled it's gonna be okay We were just talking about this is the time in our lives when we can be picky about where we want to be and what we want to do. There's also a video, I think it's from about like six months ago, where we titled it, We're Moving Again. And we talked about how our plan was that we were going to live in the Roseville area. Josh's grandma lives in the Roseville area and has a two-story home and she doesn't really use the upstairs of her house. And she opened up her house to us and said that we could stay there until we found a good job in Roseville and um, basically gave us her upstairs master bedroom, which is gonna be like our own space. And so our plan was to move to Roseville and stay in her house until we could get on our feet. That was about six months ago. Then Josh got the Disneyland job interview and then the temporary job at Make-A-Wish opened up and certain things just happened and we ended up saying what the heck let's stay in San Diego and see what happens so we spent the past like four months in San Diego and we love San Diego but there's just just after like weighing pros and cons we just decided like I think we're just gonna go with our original plan of being up north now that this temp job is over so basically I know it seems like we've been really indecisive, but we're really, like this year after Hawaii has really just been about figuring out what we really want. And I feel like we're finally like coming to a conclusion of like, we wanna be up north, we're gonna try to find a job up here. And so we're kind of going back to our plan from six months ago. It kind of seems like we're being set back a little. I'm sure that's how it'll appear in videos because we're going from having our own like tiny little house to being in someone else's house again. But we don't really see it as a setback. Like we still see it as that we're moving forward. Don't you agree? Mm -hmm. So we're excited. We're excited about the future. Um, Josh has a lot of extended family up here. His grandma, his grandpa, his both of his aunts are up here. My parents are up here. So we're really excited and we're ready to just like start getting settled here. So in the next like three, four weeks, we're gonna be moving up. It's, uh, okay, so I told you guys I'm gonna start being more real. So I'll be real. Being on YouTube is hard because you get criticism, whether that's constructive or whether that's kind of destructive criticism about everything you do. And I like the idea that people are watching us and I love hearing feedback and I love knowing that you guys are a part of everything. Sometimes it can be kind of difficult. Every once in a while you'll get a comment about um, maybe a way you're living. Sometimes I feel like we might get a little criticism from YouTube um, about like, well, Scout doesn't have a stable home, you know, well, why don't you just have a stable job? Why don't you stick with something? Why don't, you know, there's all these different things, and I, like, I worry that you guys are thinking that, but in, in reality, I'm really calm, and I'm, I'm very, um, I'm 
really happy with my decisions that I've made and with everything that I've done I've grown so much and I've made new friends and I feel like um, in a way I, I don't fit into a box and I, and I have been f trying to figure out what I want to do, how we want to live, where we want to live, um, and it's been kind of a crazy process. So, what I'm saying is, I am 100% glad that everybody is on this journey with us. And I want you to know that even though it looks like we may not know what we're doing, there's so many other things that um, account for why we're moving, um, where we're moving, uh, wh what I'm going to do for a job that, you know, that we don't share on YouTube and I want you to know that this is the best decision for us and I'm super excited I hope you guys are excited so this is the plan we're moving and uh, we've got a lot to do in the meantime we're going back to San Diego we've got to get everything we've got to fix our house up I'm very excited to be here and I love this area and it fits with a lot of it fits with our lifestyle in a way when I was in San Diego I didn't get to go fishing a lot and I miss that kind of thing I hope you guys are along for the ride Got a bug in her eye? A green bug literally just flew into my eye. Sick. Two, three, jump! <laughs> <laughs> you teasing. One, two, three. One, two, three, jump! Woo! 